With a caveat that I do need to every couple of minutes just do that to re sort of calibrate. It's, it's the one problem with uh, a gyro aiming like that one video hmm. brawl up. It's like, well, uh, there is, you know, some good for gyro if you can have gyro on a more like standard design controller so you can have most normal actions beyond buttons and then have gyro uh, like apply to camera and aiming and shit and it's one of those well you know you can do uh, uh do you have to kill the enemies to a leave because if you don't you generally can, no then but just run past everyone because you're on a fucking timer okay This should be the tunnel with the drill thing. Yep. Good. Also, those bugs don't tank at the frame rate anymore. I am disappointed. Okay. Didn't those bug enemies tank the frame rate like the Wii version? If you like kill all of them really quickly, or at least like a bunch of them really quickly. I actually do like this with the. And this is what we were talking about, and it's why I wish the hybrid let you do this kind of aiming while having camera. Get on. On. Right. The... Did I miss the? Do this every time. Oh wait, uh. no. Wait, I do this every time I replay this game. Always oh, run down. The one thing has to blow up. Remember, the aim has to blow up when it decides to blow up. You're at the mercy of the egg assholes. Yeah, you might want to. I'm going to say you might want to back all so that they're you know not. Kidding you as much. As long as I tap it and it re centers, I can like, pretty easily adjust. It's not bad on a pro controller, I just have to lean a lot more. I got this. Hybrid was fine enough. It's the, oh, I'm there. the one issue though is my hands are kind of awkward. Press with my hands. That's the, the one problem with gyro. On a pro controller like this. Ow. It's a good control scheme. It's just you do have to reset, and this is kind of more. Hey, hey, look, it's the new matter, Red Light. Yeah. This is kind of more intended uh, as a. Uh, that's the design from the Samus Returns remake yes. because because they like in at the end of that remake added that like Ridley fight who added that Ridley fight in the did have to get okay funny enough that he calibrated me pretty good. Uh, like, I'm gonna keep doing that because we find because we finally got over that at thing that always <laughs> came off as a somewhat awkward xenophobia of like the director of uh, the Metroid series that Prime wasn't canon for like the longest time. If I absolutely need to, and it's only because I'm using a pro controller, if I absolutely need to, I will. You gotta always just use dual sticks like an and or fall. No, it changed controllers out of gyro and full reset. I like the full motion range. It's just 
I have to sit here and kind of swivel. It works fine enough, but this is kind of more intended to be, um, gyro based in the split joy cons to be more like the wii version with the extra buttons and you just split everything between split joy cons but the pro controller has a gyro in it you only have the one aim point and that's like that's not, that's what apply to everything but based on the uh, like buttons and shit. A was fire and X is missile, right? Yes. Oh, that that's amazing. Super missiles have never been so smooth. That's the one problem I have with the Wii version. Missiles are down on the D-pad. So for Super Missile, you have to hold your thumb on the A button and slide it. it slide it up to the... <laughs> And to touch like the fucking bottom nub of the D-pad, and it's like, okay, this is the one problem. Is this? Yes. That's why I don't like using super missiles in the like trilogy because of that. Yeah, and I might for a minute. Again, I can always cut around because I probably cut past. I was trying to find a control style that works a little bit better, and I might. Cause like the full gyro is incredible because I have the range of movement I liked the Wii version for. And I might take a minute. Save the game. Perfect. And I might take a minute. Open the map. Change controllers for just a second to see how the split Joy-Cons fail. Might take a minute just to see. Okay. Because, yeah, it's more like the Wii because you're using mm. the one as the gun and that is a lot more Wii based because you can spin, instead of spinning the entire controller, you can spin one freaking arm. Yeah, it's, like, it's just tilting your wrist. Yeah, and there is, yeah. And because of that, it is far easier. Now, again, with a caveat of holding down, like, the re-center button, if you watch, like, a, up, up in the corner, it re-centers. So there is... And this really isn't that, again, that bad. The Pro Controller was fine, but this is more akin to the Wii and is better with Joy-Cons. You don't have to fucking pretzel. That's the one issue with a pro controller, because you have to pretzel your arms pretty coherently. Okay, well, now time to get the space jump boots early like a man. That's incredibly hard to do. That's the joke. It's apparently Prime is one of the... Uh, you can do it in this game! Yes, because of people's sweatiness. People think because... Actually, the, yeah, this is pretty good, honestly. Because that one, oh, like, invisible I... wall was added, people think you can't do it in the Wii version slash this, because, again, this was based off the Wii version. But no, you can. It is just a way more fucking difficult. There's a very specific bomb jumping bullshit. Now, again, even with the gyro and the re setting and this is kind of just more a problem with joy cons because these things are tiny as fuck pro controller was fine because it's a bigger controller but this is a lot more like the wii where i think hybrid is a little bit better for or i think hybrid in a lot of ways is better for a pro controller and i wish I would have actually used the hybrid if it let me move the camera a bit more freely. Whereas, yeah. Ow. Maybe if enough people did, there would be a hybrid too that, it, like, that lets you do that. 
though, at that point, it would be really similar to the pointer, which is why they don't seem to have done that. Pointer is true full motion calibration aiming. The problem is Joy-Cons are tiny, and I've always sort of hated, even if I get those grips, which if I'm going to use Joy-Cons for this, I might get out the grips to make these things a little bit chunkier, because... That was always my problem with split Joy-Cons, because I like the movement. And this thing works amazingly well, and actually is a little bit less awkward than the Pro Controller, because it fixes sort of my biggest issue with, like, the hybrid side. Look at this. If you don't appreciate gyro and AR pointers, I'm sorry, you are an idiot. Because look at my movement. Yeah, I can lock awkwardly but like look at how fluid this is all i'm doing is just moving my arm around and but and what's funny because it's like my her arm is more akin roughly to the arm you're kind of moving and it just feels way more natural you and, see that's a placebo effect based on visual information Yes, but like, on oh, to one more thing with the controls, just to show it because of what Carson was talking about. If I go to dual stick, and if I'm going to use Joy Cons, I'm going to put my Pro Controller down. You go to the dual stick. Now, there is fluid, but look at how mm. look at how set this is. Mm -hmm. And Samus is aiming her gun, and. They're, the dual stick and everyone's like, oh yeah, dual stick. This is like the way of the future. Look how natural this is. And in the dual stick mode, what's interesting about dual stick mode, the trigger shoots. And everyone's like, oh yeah, it's so natural. But look at how snappy that is where I'm kind of on a freaking track. Where if I, you know, open this and I go back to the pointer mode, and I click it, and I exit, put my Joy-Cons down on a flat surface, yeah, but look at how free that is, yeah. and she's not even, like, and in the free mode, because it's free aiming, she's not clicking her gun, and then A becomes shoot, and then gyro, okay, Fuck it, I think. I might stick with the... We'll, we'll do fucking Wii, baby, because that makes my hands less pretzely. Oh, yeah, that actually... That fixes my problem. Because you know, when you're logged on, because I can still strafe and everything. Now, I do wish... There is one problem with the free pointer aiming that I wish they had done because that would have actually made this incredible only one of the triggers should have reset the gyro and the other one should have been a shoot button because then you could easily shoot and strafe which i've always had a problem with because the jump button the jump button is like the strafe button well, that's one of those things that can't be Help because it's all like. Oh, actually, yeah, this feels incredible. It's oh. one of those things that somewhat can't be helped because that's one of those decisions that. And like, I, we'll just I'll play without the grips, so I can actually grip these Joy Cons a little bit better. Because like wait, because because you know we're not in prime three town where you have to like be doing motion uh gestures to, screw like, it guys we'll use joy cons because like we're not in prime three town where you have uh, to be using that's right motherfuckers i'm using joy cons and pointer controls <laughs> if hybrid gave you a bit more camera control i would use it but fuck it i, I love this game on the way this actually and like my, i said to be fair oh that... and here's the thing though my hands feel less pretzel mm. Will be because uh, you're just moving a one one arm instead of both. Not just one arm; it's working sort of Come off on. the. However, I do need a 
small moment to adjust my hands. It's one of those, it's not just one Ow. arm. It's, From where I pretzeled earlier. It's also, uh, much like the Wii Remote, you're also working all of that, like, you're holding something roughly the size of a TV remote. If Joy-Cons were a little bit bigger, I would really love these things, but they are tiny. I don't like. Tiny, uh, they're tiny baby controllers for the tiny baby children. It's my one problem with Joy-Cons. If they were a little bit... Screw it. We'll do separated Joy-Cons. Hybrid was fine enough, and I don't mind the holding the button, because you can still... It, it is a good compromise, and isn't a bad way to play, because you get all the button bullshit. Ironically, Hybrid might actually be a better control scheme to hold the button and still have, um... Because Hybrid, you, you hold... Know, because this is a version of the game that has all control schemes. Well, I know there's a lot of, like... But I do yeah. love this. Well, I know there's a, lo a lot of, like, sequence-breaking nonsense. I would honestly love to see what control scheme, like... Starts to become preferred for speedruns. Because I would find it funny if the, like... Even if it technically ends up the hybrid is the fastest, uh, like, semantic... No, like, you'll know it isn't. This is why I love this kind of aiming. Now that I'm actually separated because Joy-Cons work like a Wii Remote, you'll notice, because I'm only moving one arm and not my controller, how much smoother my camera movement is. So that was the morph ball tunnel. I don't have that. It's been a minute and I got my map mixed up. But again, I remember, we're already frauds because we're playing this game. There's the missile thing. Hey. Okay, it's the other path. You say you misremember, but going back to like, the joke I made earlier, because that stupid space jump thing is still technically... Because that skip is still technically... You need possible. bombs to get space jumps. I would have to play... Le you would have to play legitimately... Somewhat le legitimately For anyway. just a bit before being able to... I've played the game before. I'm just trying to remember. I always get the early game when I return to it mixed up. Yeah. Okay. It's and, and this is why I think the hint thing should be left on. That and then one of those I want to show that it's not as intrusive as people make it out to be. Well, it's slightly less intrusive in this version anyway. I just always... Wait, there it is. Got him done. Okay. It's the lower door. I know where I'm going now. <laughs> and now that this is... Yeah, I just need... Every so often, however, I'm gonna try... Hold on. Lock it. I'm not moving. Calibrate. Okay. Yeah. Trying to move and keep my... This is why I love the full range. Why I wish Joy-Cons were a little bit bigger, because I would absolutely love these things. Though... Also... Like, unlike a lot of people, I don't hate the Joy-Cons. And when the Joy-Cons are on the grip, I think they're fine, because that makes them a little bit bigger. But when you're doing like this... Also, I was like, saving everything. I can put the controllers out. I just hate gripping Joy-Cons on their own, because they are a bit small. My hands aren't even that big. The other thing, and this would have been, like, the greatest controller ever. Yeah, it reset, because I put everything down. If I do need to, though, I will... If I, if, I know you can... if I do need to, I will go to controls and do pointer. Exit. Like, if you go... Oh, I... I'm not going to do this that much. If I, if I go to the dual stick and exit, and then I go back to controls, I go to pointer, and I exit because I changed. It does often want to... Because... <laughs> Because of the, like, you using them, you know, recently, that's why it doesn't need the... Full re recalibration, but... You would need to be off them for, like, a hot minute. It doesn't even feel that 
bad. It's just the problem. I, I find it funny. Uh, I. What I was going to say, if they had done what they really should have, the AR camera on the one Joy-Con, if it was on the top and not the freaking bottom... But if it couldn't be on the top because that unfortunately gets in the way of triggers. That, and I'm still, like... Ugh. They could have made the Joy-Con slightly longer and still... Well, and that gets to the second thing I was going to Asshole. say... The, like, besides right. it getting in the way of the triggers, and that's why they didn't use it, the other reason I am convinced uh, that that is on the bottom of... Here's the missile thing. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, what... Control style do you use in this game? And as a secondary question, did you actually give the gyro controls a fair shot? Because I will be super cynical about this. I feel like most people are generally not giving the gyro controls a fair shot where everybody pretty much unanimously agreed that the dual stick controls are amazing because nobody really understands why pointer aiming and gyro aiming can be incredibly, incredibly nice. I know the Joy-Cons are not perfect with that, and even I hate how small the Joy-Cons are, and that can cause a few problems with what I would consider to be the best control scheme in the game. But once you really embrace gyro aiming and similar types of pointer and motion aiming, you start to realize, oh, this really is far more nuanced than a stick will ever be, and the subtle movements you can get out of gyro aiming or out of the camera on the Wii far surpass the limited range of a control stick, because a control stick really does suck at dealing with very subtle movements, but so many people refuse to acknowledge how good gyro aiming is, and even fewer people refuse to acknowledge how good the Wii camera was at tracking a pointer using the camera on the Wii Remote and the sensor bar as a target and sync point. This streamer that I make fun of a few times in this Let's Play was a guy that really seemed to have never played a Wii and was super against motion controls under this misunderstanding that all motion controls are just shaking the Wii Remote like a crazy person, and he was playing Metroid Prime years ago for the first time on an emulator, and he was using a PS4 controller, and I talked about how, in my opinion, the best way to play Metroid Prime was playing it on the Wii, because I said the Wii has incredible controls for shooters because I said the pointer aiming is really good and this motherfucker that has apparently never touched a Wii in his goddamn life goes on this tirade. I don't get it, man. The Wii is just a console where you just shake the controller. You just waggle the controller. How would that be good for aiming? I don't get it. How is shaking the controller going to aim well? I don't get it. How would that improve over stick aiming because he wouldn't shut up about how you just move the stick and you aim and that makes so much sense but on the Wii it's just shake 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 waggle 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 how is shaking and waggling going to aim well I don't get it I don't get it 
And I make fun of this guy multiple times in this Let's Play, and I know I'm kind of being an ass here, but it's that kind of arrogance and ignorance that bothers me because even after explaining that the Wii Remote has a camera on it and that the sensor bar looks at the camera and simply tracks the movement to basically move a point of interest around the screen and that point of interest is essentially what you use to target stuff and I explained it's like you point at it in game move the targeting pointer to an enemy or an object or something click the a button and you shoot and the thing that the pointer is touching is where the shots go but this motherfucker just refused to acknowledge that a Wii remote can be a good tool in a shooter but he also was acting like Metroid Prime was a terrible shooter when the game was never designed to be a shooter anyway. And the whole reason I'm going on this tirade, I wish more people would appreciate gyro aiming and the pointer aiming of the Wii because I mean this very seriously. And while I do not really encourage emulation, in general, unless it's an official emulator, because I don't want to get caught up in a case of telling people to pirate games, and I am not at all encouraging directly to pirate the Wii version, and yes, I consider that piracy, do not give me crap for that, I'm not going to argue that, I'm just making a point that I wish more people would try the Metroid Prime Trilogy version of the game on a Wii using a Wii remote so that they can understand why I think the pointer aiming is incredible. Because if your sensor bar is set up properly and your console detects it properly, you will have really good aiming that, in my opinion, is even better than the gyro aiming in the remaster, the pinpoint precision you get is incredibly, incredibly good. The only downside is the controls on the Wii can be a little bit odd, but I think the pointer aiming is incredible and it's at least worth trying it for a minute to fully understand why I value that kind of aiming. And while you're at it, also give the Wii version of Resident Evil 4 a try for a similar reason. And you will start to understand how good the aiming is versus the archaic and outdated stick aiming that everyone just assumes is like the best aiming can be. But if you really try the gyroscopic aiming options in games or try a few Wii games that use a pointer aim, you might start to realize, oh, this actually is pretty good and feels incredible and gives me nuanced movement that a stick never gave me. But anyway, I have been rambling nearly 10 minutes. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media, all of my Social media links as well as my Discord links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you all next time. So, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.